don't know. And I think that has to be clarified also. Uh, but I think we do want to do the right thing. The question I think that Senator Breslin is asking is a very valid one. Would, the, in your judgment, would the would strong ethics laws, including not just ethics laws, but the transparency and the disclosure aspects, would that have prevented some of the egregious examples of bad behavior? Um, I totally agree with you, Senator. I, I think more transparency would because it would be a deterrent. And I think your idea of a, what we call a bright light standard, where people know they can't go over that line. However, that's, I think, Russ talked about, and I think we have all always said, um, legislators must know where they stand. They must know, and hopefully, you know, you don't go right up to the line and put a toe over occasionally to see who's watching. Um, and that goes to the, you know, character of, of the people that we put into office. But if you have that bright light where you know this is what is permissible and that isn't permissible, then it makes it, I would assume, much easier for elected officials. If you want to do the right thing, these are the steps where you can stay within the confines of doing the right thing. And I think we would hope that in this, um, in, in any bill that comes out, any new ethics bill, it does provide that bright light. And we do have, as Russ said, the training so that legislators will be familiar with the new, stronger law, that the public would be. And, and one of the things I think Russ touched on, you used to have public hearings with the CPI. We no longer have those. So it restricts what really the press can report on and what those of us in the advocacy organization can also harp on. So I think all of that is very important. Just, just to add one additional point to Barbara's comments, that's why it's important that the entity, whatever it is, be independent so that when you call for an advisory opinion, you don't get told how to skirt the law, you get told what not only the letter of the law is, but what the spirit of the law is so that you can raise to the higher level instead of 